is that I have. I thank him again this morning, Brother Terry, for the power of forgiveness that I have. You know, I can forgive anybody who ever did anything to me. I can do that. I can do it. You know what, Brother Terry? I did it. And I've done it since Jeff Louise again and again and again. And you know what? There's joy in having that power. Because when I forgive, I give up the right of that bitterness and anger to control me. That's right. But if you think you control it, honey, you're sadly mistaken. That's right. It controls you. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. When your mind gets renewed, you start loving folks. I remember when I received the Holy Ghost. I was only nine years old, so don't bring nothing nasty into it. But Brother Pete, I hugged everybody yeah. that I could get my hands on. I hugged them all. And most of them was women. <laughs> I hugged, Marcus, I hugged everybody I could get my hands on. I remember weaving all around like a drunk man. Just happy. Yeah. Feel it with y'all. Look, guys, overflowing. You know? Because you know what? It's hard to hate from the whole That's right. It's hard to reject from the whole world. That's right. It's hard to even ask too many questions when you go to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Right. You will be blissfully dumb. That's right. Say, well, I don't know if I will be that way. Let me tell you something. My life will be a whole lot better off if I didn't know a lot of things I didn't know. Some of them I learned at the school of hard knocks, look at David. Right? Amen. That's true. Oh, that's that's true. true. Amen. That you may prove what is that true <coughs> and acceptable and perfect for the God. Yes, sir. First five. Second Peter three five. They, that's the scoffers, that's the mockers, are willingly or ignorant of. How do you be willingly ignorant? How do you be willingly ignorant? No, no, no. To do right. You know it and you just ignore it. You know it and you just won't do it. You know it and you just won't pay attention. Because remember the scoffers were saying, y'all been preaching this and preaching it and preaching it and preaching it and preaching it. Ain't nothing ever happened. What? Guess what? I heard it, heard it again this week. 
somebody that walked away, preached the gospel, has preached in this church. And him and his wife walked away from the truth, went away to another church, and they are now in the middle of a divorce, Brother David. And the man told his brother-in-law, we went too far. We went too far. But you know, there's no hope. There's already been a building. There's already been bad, bad situations taking place in the world. He, he said, I went too far. And you know why I'm preaching to us this morning? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So make our minds up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we think we're safe. I'll just get over here right there. I, I, mean, I, know, I know what I'm doing. I got it. I, I'm right there. I know what I'm doing. You just trust me. Just leave me alone. I, I'm cool. I got it. All right. All right. Yeah. But you're going to wake up. Yeah. 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 You're living in Sodom. And I get a visitation from the Lord. You'll find yourself trying to swap your daughters out for the presence of the Lord. Just like a lot did. Where about the world that then was, verse 6, being overflowed with water, perish. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. The same word that spoke the earth into existence. The same word that caused the rain to come. Which was also the same word that spoke into the ear of Noah and said, Build an ark. Right. It's the same word that will cause the fire of damnation to fall on the earth in the last day. Notice the Bible said, Kept in store or reserved for a time that only God knows. When once again, I've never realized this before, when once again, the earth will perish yes. at the hands of ungodly men. Yes. Yes. Not the will of God, not the desire of God, but the sin of mankind screams for vindication, screams for justification, and the only thing that purifies the ungodliness of man is the fire of God. Verse number eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. <laughs> you discount some things, but don't, don't, don't discount this. Be not ignorant of this one thing. <laughs> that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. As a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that really mean in the context? What are the mockers? What are the mockers saying? What are the scoffers saying? I can do what I want, but he hadn't come yet. I've had more than one person tell me. I want you to listen to me. I've had more than one person tell me, one of them recently. Well, oh, I know what I'm going to get right to God. I know what I'm going to come back. I know what I'm going to change things. I know I'm not going to make it like I am. Yeah. But when in my mind goes to sleep, little rice, and we stop thinking about it. You think about this, and I've talked about it in here before. Brother Terry, and, and, and this is a little bit of a cliche, but I had to pray this morning. God, let this message mean something to me. Because yes. yes. when I came up, the Lord was coming all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. When I came up, we had it on the, it was in the front of our minds. Oh, yeah. That's right. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. I don't want to be lost. I don't want to be lost. But somehow, somehow we've let it That's right. fade a little bit. We get so wrapped up in the cares of life. It's so wrapped up in just trying to make it here as if that was our goal. Mm -hmm. When in fact, the cry of people that have the heart of God as the old song has said, and we've sung it many times, the cry of a sincere mind and heart says, take this whole world. Take this whole world. Give me Jesus. Amen. The Lord is not measured according to man's time clock. Based upon the mockers' assumption, that since it hasn't happened yet, Come on now. it ain't going to happen. Yeah. Amen. Yet is a time reference. Since the fathers fell asleep, brother David, they were keeping track. And they justified in their minds the ability to walk away from the elementary faith, but it kept them. Yeah, Just because it hadn't happened yet. <laughs> Galatians chapter number 6. Verse 
27. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. David, I remember that conversation so well when Mama, I've been living with Mama since I was about 12. And by the time I was 20, 20 years old, I was living with Mama. I remember she backed me up in the corner of our kitchen over there. She started listening off, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And you know something in my mind, Brother Rice? I didn't believe it. But even though it happened to other people, this is what we're talking about right now. And I said, be done with I am mean, the absolute done statement that I made in the middle of my life. I said, Mom, you've got to make your mistakes. Let me make mine. Second off, 
It's from that experience that gives me the burden that I can stand before yes, you amen. today yes. and tell you that Jesus loves you. And Jesus sent me to tell you to wake up. Yeah. Romans 13, 11, I'm closing. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time amen. to awake out of sleep. Amen. For now, everybody say now. now. Is our salvation nearer than when we believe? And we're a lot closer home now than we were when we saw <laughs> Next verse. The night is far spent. I basically I've had enough of it all. I've had enough of the night time. The night is far spent. And the day is at hand. The day is at hand. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. That's not a spiritual thing. That's something you've got to do. You know how that happens? Just like the blind man, God gave his sight. Huh? You see the light. And you acknowledge and recognize this works for me. I know that this one's got this and that, got that, got that, got that, got that, got that. But this is for me. This works for me. I gotta wake up. I gotta make sure that I'm ready. And let us put on the whole arm. The Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Stand with me. Three and nine, Brother Shannon, I'm in close. Three and nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness. What that slackness is, Brother Pete, is, is when we say, I'll get around to it. Or if this happens, I'll do it. Or maybe I'll do it. When the Lord says it, there's no way man's bunch of niggas. It's the real deal. Yeah. Yeah. So, the mongers need to understand. It ain't because he's waiting on the perfect day. It ain't because he can't make up his mind. It ain't because he wants to see how many will walk away. That's right. The reason for this message, Brother David, the reason for this message is, is for us to wake up and get ourselves right with God. Amen. Because he's not slack concerning his promise and some men count slackness, but he's long suffering to us for it. Not willing that any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. Next verse. The Lord's understand that the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall bend with sword and heat.